Hi everyone, Pat here at the Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore in Maitland, Florida, and I am standing behind a pile of new stuff and I want to share it with you. I'm so inspired. I want to inspire you. I've been sewing and surging up a storm at home. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so to my right here, I have a lot of new bags that I just made. Remember, they're super easy to make. Um, I'm going to start with this beautiful pink one. So we have restocked and received many new vinyls and restock of vinyls. So this one here is just a mix of vinyls. And remember, I always tell you, once you look at my video on our YouTube channel for um, bag making, I have several videos on there that have been very popular. You can go out on a limb and make your own. So my bags are normally 18 inches by 18 inches, um, my tote bags. So there you go. So this one has a mix of pink ostrich. And then I have, this is new, the snakeskin. And then um, we have the black patent on the bottom. So I'm going to go through some of the vinyls in a minute and tell you what these are called and identify them for you so that if you want to look online and purchase any of these, um, you can look at sewing.net and you know what it is that you're looking for. So what can happen is for those of you who don't come by the store frequently or maybe you know you don't live close by, you want to kind of know if you're a bag maker or you like using vinyls, which ones really work for what. So I'm going to kind of give you um, a, a little go through of the vinyls and just show you how I use them and tell you what, you know, give you some information on them. Okay, so let's move on from this one. We have another one here. I love this one. I just love this one. So I've done a combination of a brown vinyl here, and this one I, I actually have right here. This one is called Cowboy Caramel, and it's just soft and luscious, and you can see on the inside, the whole inside of my bag is the cowboy camel, and all I did was that I stitched, this is cork, so I measured and I did about six inches of cork and I stitched it onto this base. And then I did the same with this vinyl, which is our Western floral. But again, I'm gonna go through the vinyls in a minute once I've gone through the samples and I'll fill you in a little bit more. But, and this one I did, sometimes I only do the decoration on one side, um, but this one I did both sides. So love that one, had a lot of fun with that one. Here's my, my basic tote bag that um, I have the video for on sewing.net. That one's really cool. And this one on the bottom has um, the, not the Loretta, the Western floral. This chocolate brown on the bottom is the Western floral. This next one, I love, I love all my bags. This is a new, um, new one in a beautiful teal, again, very easy to do. And then I put the, the black on the bottom. And then, of course, our pink and gray never goes out of style for the fashionistas. So love that one too. And then I have one here. This is not a brand new one, but it's been a popular one because it's so unusual. And again, this is to inspire you to just do crazy things, you know. Sometimes what I do at night when I go home is that if I have a bunch of vinyls, I just cut, I'll cut them 18 inches wide, right? So I'll cut my vinyl into 18 inch widths. And then I'll go and I'll just slice some maybe six inches. So I have all kinds of stripes, some of them six inches, some of them eight inches. And then I start laying them out um, and putting together different um, combinations. So look at this one. This is a, a really big one. So this is my shopping bag. See how cool that is? 
So it's fun to play around. So again, I just cut out a whole bunch of different widths of stripes. When I say width, I mean here. The, and I always make them 18 inches from edge to edge, from side to side. So that's a fun one. And then I have from my, my, um, my first bag that I ever made, that I made the video, my tote bag, which has been incredibly popular, this fabric here, which I love, is from Kafe's, Kafe Facets new collection. And then I used green webbing. And you can see that I put a pocket here. And I actually embellished the, the pocket with the decorative cover stitch, the new Baby Lock Applaud that I've been playing with, and I, again, love that machine. Any of you who know me and know that I love just the whole bling and embellishment and using decorative stitches, I love, love, love that machine. And also, if we can get a little bit of a close-up here, you'll notice that I have a, I quilted it perfect. I quilted it with a chain stitch on the applaud, and I used black and orange thread for that, and I also stitched the webbing down with the um, chain stitch from the applaud. So you get a, a close up there. Just really beautiful. And then I did the black on the bottom. Okay, those are my samples right now. Now I'm going to go through the pile of vinyls that I have in front of me. I'm going to take my bags and just put them to one side. This is one of the corks that I used on the this bag. And remember, whatever I'm showing you will be on our website. I've got this the wrong way around. Let me go like that. Okay. So this cork, beautiful. And it's, it's very classic, multicolored, and we'll have it on our website. I believe this is 12 inch width. So we've got shorter cuts of it so that you don't need to buy too much and then have a lot of waste. And then we have this one, which also I love. Let me turn it this way. It's a cute little guy. The wild forest animals are, are always popular in the store for wallets and purses. Um, put that to one side. And also we have one that is just a cork color with gold. Now these three corks that I just showed you actually come wrapped on a board. They're a little different. You can see it's lighter weight. I mean, it is lighter weight than the normal cork that you would purchase. And it's also almost got a woven backing. So it's really, really easy to sew with, but it doesn't have the weight of what a normal cork would have, but it is cork. Um, so just a, a, a variance, a variety on the cork. Okay, let me put these to one side. Okay, so now let's start on the pile that I have in front of me. I like to be able to explain to you some of the vinyls that we have and how to use them because a lot of times you may make a bag or you may order um, some vinyl and not know the weight of it, right? Whether it's going to work for the project that you're doing. And for example, some of the bags, if you want to make a bag like this one, you want to have a vinyl that has a little bit more structure for the bottom so that the bag looks right, so that it kind of holds its own, so to speak. So, and also there are other vinyls that are easier to sew. Some of them you need a Teflon foot. So let, let's start on, on this stack right here. So the Loretto, Loretto, if you look on our website, this is an extremely popular vinyl. It's, call, it's what you would call an embossed vinyl. It's fabric backed. It's very sturdy. Can you see? It's really sturdy. So it structures well for the bottom of a bag. It comes in beautiful colors. Of course, once in a while, um, will run out of a certain color, but it comes in a beautiful variety of colors. And also remember that the way that we merchandise our vinyls is we'll have two sizes. 
So we always do 18 inches by 54. So if you want to make a whole bag out of the vinyl, take, make sure that you're getting an 18 by 54 as opposed to an 18 by 27. You can see looking at this that um, one roll is larger than the other. Sometimes people kind of just grab and go and you think you've got enough. So always take a look at that. So we have another vinyl that is very similar to the one that I just showed you and it's called Western Floral. So with the embossed look, we have um, Western Floral and we have um, Loretto. I just showed you Loretto. So now this is the Western Floral. This one is, sh is shinier, can you see? And again, it's extremely popular. It, I just showed it to you on the bottom of a bag. I know I have a bag here. This is the, this one. But it's slightly softer than the Loretto. So just keep that in mind. So this particular one comes, we just did a restock of our most popular colors. I have white. I have a beautiful mint, extremely popular. I have a beautiful blue. Um, but anyway, you'll see it on our website, the brown. And then this one is called Nugget. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It almost looks like, um, like a Western look to it. But believe it or not, it coordinates with a lot of different fabrics. It would be beautiful with denim. So it comes in several different browns. We just got a new um, color brown in that's called chocolate that is a very, very deep color. And may I say that the, one of the questions that I get asked the most with the vinyls, well, actually there's two questions. Will my sewing machine at home that I have sew through vinyl? Because I've never sewn, so, bought vinyl or sewn vinyl because I don't think my machine will handle it. Your machine will handle most of these vinyls. The thing that you have to think about is if a vinyl is shiny and heavier, you're going to need a Teflon foot. And I normally use denim needles, maybe a size 12 or 14. And Schmetz also has vinyl needles um, that are coated. The vinyl needles are coated, so they really glide through vinyl easily. And generally, Again, I use mostly a size 12, but you can use a size 14 also. So they, they are easy to sew. I'll point, that, I'll point that out as I go through the vinyls and tell you um, which ones may be a little bit trickier. So if you're a beginner sewer, maybe put that, not, don't start with those. But these two that I've talked about, very easy to sew, and a regular sewing machine will handle them well. Okay, moving on. Ostrich. This is a new color for us. The red, it's stunning. So this one makes up beautifully pink ostrich, the red. We also have it in white. I think we got a, we got a variety of colors. So take a look at our website for that. Now this one here, you can see it's got structure. Remember that most of the vinyls that I'm showing you are um, heavy enough for upholstering, and a lot of them we carry by the yard also. They're not by the yard on our website, but you can always give us a call and say, you know, I want 27 yards of one of them or something. Um, so I, this one, you can see, get the overhead again. You can see it's got nice body to it and structure. And again, it's easy to put on your machine and sew. Although I will say that I am partial when I'm doing certain bags and certain weights of vinyl using a straight stitch, either the Accomplish or a Juki, um, a straight stitch machine, a semi-commercial machine goes through these like butter. So, okay, this one here, I love, this is a restock, and I don't know whether you can tell on camera, this is green, it's a dark green. 
I asked Gabriella what color she thought this was or what we should call it, and she said the Loch Ness Monster. You can't really appreciate the color. That's a shame. I, oh, there we go. Can you see it's got a hint? It looks, to me, it reminded me of Game of Thrones. It's really, really, really cool. So this particular one has body. Look at this. It's great, great for the bottom of a bag. Um, it'll hold, hold up. Oh, you can make the whole bag out of this. Remember, you don't have to cut them up. Um, so this one is called Mamba. And we have it in several colors also. I know we, we usually have it in black, which is standard, always looks nice. Now we have the next one. So this one we've had forever. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I've used this many, many, many times. It's got this beautiful medallion. So if you look at my first video, I show you how to fussy cut and um, place your designs appropriately. This is one that we constantly restock. We just got the red in again. Sometimes when we want to restock, the company doesn't have them. So that's why we're, I thought we should let you know um, what we got back in. So we've got the red, we've got this one. This one's called um, ginger, gingerbread. Be is, they're beautiful. Okay, going down the stack. I got to keep moving on because I got a lot to show you. Um, we have the, the Western floral in, this is the chocolate. It almost looks black and it comes in black also. This one is again, has enough body. I love sewing with this one. It is so good natured. Aqualine, it's called Aqualine. We always restock this one. We have it in about um, probably six or seven colors. If you're a beginner, and you want to try sewing on vinyl, I would say start with this one. Um, this fuchsia is incredible. It's just beautiful. And then we have it in black. We have it in, in white. We have a gray. We have a couple of shades of green that are beautiful. Um, so I'm down to the bottom here. So we have a variety. Here are some more of the ostrich. We merchandise all of our vinyls in the roll, either by, eight, 18, by 18 inches by 27 or 18 by 54. So we have another shade of pink and here's the white ostrich. Here's the um, Western floral in the gray. This one is actually very beautiful. They're all, they're all pretty, the colors are very pretty. And then there's another Western floral in, um, what color is this teal? I'm trying to tell you, give you the names of the colors in case you look online. So you see a lot of, a lot of different colors. Now, we have shiny ones. This one's called Croco. This one I showed you the bag in the beginning. So you see this one has a nice shine to it. Now this one is pretty smooth as opposed to to this one. This is almost, can you see it's almost like dimensional? This one has structure. The pink, the pink one has structure. It's got a nice body to it. This one is, a, the red is a little bit more difficult to sew. So I would say to you that this one, the red one is a little bit more advanced as you move forward working with vinyls, but this one sews really nice, but you would need to use um, a Teflon foot so that your machine doesn't stick, your foot doesn't stick. So beautiful variety of colors. We've got silver. In the um, Croco black, I use this a lot for the bottom of my bags. I mean, it just goes with everything. This one is new. I showed you the bags that I made. This one is called Boa Python. We have it in three colors. I didn't bring the brown in, but it comes in the fuchsia, the turquoise, and also a brown. And this one is softer. Um, you know, you don't always want everything to be stiff. So this one works well for the top of a bag, and then you could do the bottom out of this black one. Would work really well for a bag. This one I talked to you about, and then we have a beautiful 
gold color. Now, I also, you have to know that, and you probably do know if you're a customer of ours, we have a lot, a lot of vinyls in the store. So I can't possibly show everyone, but I'm standing here in front of a pile of other assorted vinyls that are solids and um, crocodile looks in a beautiful assortment of colors. And these are called, these are really soft. Like this is, this is um, a lavender and it's backed with a really soft um, fabric. It's just really, really nice. Comes in many colors and it's called vinyl macaron and this is the lavender blue. So as you can see, we have a lot of different colors. Now, looking at the right of me here, I have brought in a pile of new fabrics. These are the new K Facet collectives that just came in in August, and they are absolutely stunning. So this particular one, again, is on our website. This one's called Ammonites. Look at how beautiful it is with the pink ostrich. This one is called um, Jungle, and it's the neutral. Very exciting, very beautiful. And this one is the Western floral in gray. But you see how nice that works with that? This next one is called Urchin. The colors are gorgeous. He's, he's a master at color. I mean, so right away I look over here. The, this ostrich is beautiful and it lends itself the um, little dots lend itself to the print that's got a lot of dots. So this is like a no-brainer to me. This one's called um, Bloomers. Love, love, love the aqua, the colorway. So looking at our collection of vinyls here, when I showed you the mint, Look at how beautiful that works with it. I'm going to put it like this. Make a beautiful bag or in the lining or whatever. You're the artist, so you can create. I'm just trying to inspire you and show you. And now this is a really good um, picture of how beautiful the embossing is on that. So here's another jungle in the pink. This is another colorway on the bloomers. And then we have another very popular print are his new, um, it's called Fetonias, his new leaves. And you can see right away that it would work with the pink ostrich. So lots of fun. I hope I'm inspiring you. I have just another couple of things that I want to show you. We just got in from Free Spirit, this beautiful collection. And I told Gabriella, I, ha I have to show everyone this collection because first of all, if you're a modern um, quilter, this is like perfect. I mean, and often when I look at collections and I'm ordering fabric, I don't necessarily order every writing, but in this one I ordered I believe I ordered every piece because it it's just, I had to have every piece. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. So this is perfect for a quilt, but they all work individually also. So this is Free Spirit um, writing on the wall and it's a collaboration, I'm reading off the Bolton, it's a collaboration of Free Spirit designers. So let me just give you, I'll just go through them quickly. This looks like typewritten, very, very cool. This one, very cool. It almost looks cartoonish, that one. This one's fun, like scribbles all over it. Let's write down my alley. If you're a free motion quilter, you could follow those lines and quilt it. This one is kind of a whimsical one with 
little flowers. And then we're going to have the, the version with the black background. This one's cool. Look at Actually, the, the writing in this one is in Spanish. Oh, and then I'm sure, let me move them over. I'm sure this is Gabriela's favorite. <laughs> Did you see this one, Gabriela? How cool is that? That one, this one I'm going to give you the skew of because this is like, wow, 277170. Really cool. It's amazing how different they all are. And there is imagination, harmony. Another one. See how I had to get them all? Love them. So take a look at them online. Um, and then I'm going to show you one more thing. Here's the last one. They all say cool things too, which is nice. OK. I've been playing with my fairly new reversible bag pattern, which has been quite popular too. Very easy to do. I've been teaching it at the store, but you can watch my video. And what I've been doing is using panels more and more. So when we shop for fabric, it's amazing how many collections feature a panel, right? Because a panel is what tells a story in a collection. So I started looking at panels and thinking, you know, I'm going to, they're so beautiful, I'm going to make um, bags out of them, cut them up. And in my reversible bag video, I show you how to, that you can fussy cut. So this is the reversible bag that I came up with where I fussy cut the other side is the window. It's, it, I'm so pleased with how it came out. And then I did extra long straps on it, and it's quilted. I actually quilted it on the um, Baby Lock Solaris in the design center. And then if I turn it inside out, I want to have something pretty inside, obviously. I'm going to turn it. You see how quickly I can turn it inside out. The other side is just a Christmas fabric. You could have put another panel on the other side, too, if you wanted. You're the artist. So I just did a, it's kind of a, like a glittery snow scene. You know, I always say when I create a bag or a bag pattern, I like to do it as simple as possible because what I love doing is getting one of my fancy machines, whether it's the Applaud, whether it's a Sashiko, whether it's your Triumph, um, and embellish, couch, cord, embroider, do whatever you want, and then just whip the bag together. So I, I have an unfinished bag here, which is a panel. So the whole panel is um, a fireside scene of Santa sitting next to a tree with a bear. So I fussy cut it so Santa is on one side and then I have the little teddy bear. And as I say, this is unfinished. I've just got the side stitched up. You know, I've got like eight of these on the go right now. I just whip them out. And then this is another one. And again, we have these fabrics on our website. This one's really cool. I fussy cut. This was not a panel. But for anybody who loves dogs, this is kind of just a little whimsical um, print with all the little dogs in, of course, the red truck. So the pattern for that, we sell a lot of kits. So we put the kits together for our bags. And they're on our website. And actually, um, we, we have the patterns that we sell individually, too. And we have the, the, um, a child's version also of this pattern. I had a lot of customers ask us if we could do a child version for their grandchildren. or So we, we did come out with a child version. So this pattern is online. It's called Pat's Easy Reversible Handbag pattern and it's $8.99. The SKU is two seven three nine nine nine. Um, so and I've got one more thing I'm going to show you 
and I have it right here. So again, I've been having a lot of fun and talking about the reversible bag. I just whipped out my paints one night and I just used acrylic paints that I bought at a craft store, just those little bottles that are like, I don't know, a dollar twenty each. And I um, painted a denim. Can you can see this is the background? I washed a piece of our um, denim that we have. And then because you when you paint on something, you always want to wash it first. I'm trying to get the right angle. So I painted it with um, acrylic paint. And then I used Posca markers. If some of you like to paint or draw, you may be familiar with Posca. I painted it first, and then I kept looking at it and thinking it needs something else. And I embroidered over the paint. And I, I found a, an embroidery design of the toucan that was a very light stitch count, very um, when I say light stitch count, hardly any stitches. So you can see that the beak is filled in with embroidery, with embroidery thread, but the actual body of the bird is not. So it lets my paint show through. And then I have from the same designer, I have the little bee and the flowers over here. And then I decided that the other side should be completely different. So I used rifle paper and I quilted that. And then, just because I wanted to keep going, I didn't like the way when I joined my denim here, here to my rifle paper fabric, I didn't like having the seam down there. So I used heat and bond and I fused it onto the back of some of my rifle paper flowers and I fused them down the seam. And then I did some free motion quilting. And you have to forgive me, I'm not very good at free motion quilting, but you know, I just had fun. I did this at night and I thought, you know what? I, and honestly, I could have kept going, but I thought, you know, I gotta stop. I've done enough on this bag. And of course it's reversible and I have, um, I've embellished rifle paper on the inside too. So that, that was a lot of fun. You can go to town, just throw some paint on fabric. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little kind of presentation that we threw together to keep you inspired and, um, and sewing and surging and being creative and being crafty. So have some fun and thanks for watching and check out our website at sewing.net.